I am in Portugal today, I am in Lisbon, and I am not here by myself. For once, I am not doing a solo trip. I'm here with my friend Michelle. <laughs> Comment down below if you think Michelle's my twin. We've been told that we're <laughs> twins or sisters this trip. Sisters so. are twins. Sisters are twins. Siblings are dating. <laughs> we landed in Lisbon last night, and we were honestly just very tired. The only thing we did yesterday was just get dinner and walk around town for a little bit trying to stay awake. Yeah. I crashed at like 7 p.m. Yeah, I made it to 9, yeah. and that was only because I was trying to stay awake for the free sacred at our hostel yeah. at 8 p.m. Yes, we're staying at the Lost in Hostel. So. It's really cute. I like it a lot. I like love it? it, I love it. Yeah. Our rooms are beautiful. Rooms are beautiful, beds are comfy, it's super social. Super social, the girls in our dorm are all amazing. We're staying in a six bed female dorm. I will link some footage here from it. Right now, we are waiting to go on our tour in Sintra. We're doing Sintra and Pina Palette. I think we're about to leave, so. Yeah. Let's go. Bye. I always just cringingly say, let's go. <laughs> let's go. You want to be in this? Hello. <laughs> You're so tall that I need to go like this. Yeah. <laughs> Breakfast at our hostel was three euro. Then we went and did a walking tour with our hostel. It was great. I feel like we saw a lot of like the main points in the city and like know where to go back. Now what we did is we picked up our Lisbon cards. So Lisbon cards give you free access to all the public transit and they give you some discounted rates at some like popular places that people would visit in Lisbon. So it's a good idea if you're here for a couple days. We should have went and picked ours up the other day, but we should have. We've been slacking. Okay. We've been slacking Honestly, a little bit. Honestly, the first day here we were just exhausted because of our all-nighter. So yeah. we could not move. We're here now. Let's go walk to Below Tower. <laughs> We just finished up at Belém Tower. I really liked Belém. I loved it. It was like a long line to get in, but it was smart because they didn't have too many people in the tower. That actually counted on our Lisbon card, so that was free. Now we're currently at St. George's Castle. We took the public transport back to get here. It was 15 euros, so it was really expensive, so. And sadly, your Lisbon card didn't cover it. Yeah, and it didn't give us a discount, but hopefully it's cute here. It I looks cute. It's really pretty. But is it 15 euro pretty? We'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Good 
afternoon. <laughs> it is 2 p.m. Michelle and I literally thought that we were leaving today. <laughs> like we full on got up, packed all our stuff, showered. I was ready to go. I was finishing up packing like a couple things. So I asked Michelle if she could look up our bus tickets to see where we're supposed to meet to get on the bus. And then Michelle looks up and she's like, Rachel, we're not leaving today. <laughs> We're leaving tomorrow. <laughs> we both are silly goofy girls. Today our plan is to go and maybe do some shopping, walk around the city, and then try to go on tram 28. So Lisbon has these like beautiful yellow trams and they're very historic. I think they're from the 1930s. They've obviously been updated and like renovated for the ones that we're taking today, but have the same vibes of back then. I heard it gets really busy though, so we're gonna try to Maybe relax, maybe do some things, and then make our way there yeah. later on in the day, so maybe it won't be as busy. Oh, also, for people who watch my Europe packing video, I am loving the African net cloth. It dries so quickly, 10 out of 10, you need to get, every backpacker needs one of these things. Go watch my packing video, I'll link it. Okay, we just got to our hostel. We took a three hour bus from Lisbon to get here. Now we're here, wasn't bad at all. We're staying at Sun Lovers Hostel. Currently in my dorm right now, so I'll show you around. It already looks really cute. They have like a rooftop patio out front. We're right in a little beach town. Here is what it looks like. Something crazy about this hostel is look how humongous the lockers are. I can spread out my personal item and this is my backpack fully open. It's a little messy because we just got here and changed into our bathing suits. This is literally the biggest bunk I've ever seen. Like I still have a room. This is what our dorm looks like. I think we're staying in a 12 bed. Yeah, 12 bed dorm. I'm excited. I decided today I was going to put on one of my new bathing suits. I'm really excited to dry and I paired it with my little Aritzia skirt. I bought this skirt for a job I had, but like it's actually come in handy so much on this trip because it's so lightweight. It is so hot in Albuquerque right now, like so hot. We're gonna go get some food and then we're gonna go to the beach. <laughs> Yesterday we just took a day to get a scope of the city. What are your first thoughts on Albufera? I love it. I think it's beautiful. I think it really reminds me of Greece. I don't know. It's just always like lively. There's lots of restaurants, clubs. There's lots going on. Total beach down here. One of the main things to do here is what we're doing today, which is the Benegal Sea Cave. So it's the Benegal Caves, Coves, and Secret Beaches guided kayaking tour. We are currently at the rooftop patio of our hostel right now. It's super cute, except for, you know what wasn't cute? What? The girl in our room who tried to turn the AC off That was night. not cute. We woke up with the meat sweats. She was, <laughs> I woke up with the meat sweats. I woke up at like 2 a.m. To be honest. And I turned on the AC for everyone. Yeah. I'm adding the applause down right now. It took me a while to get to sleep because like I went to sleep at around like 12 or 1 and mm -hmm. I was like uncomfortable and that's probably why. It was so uncomfy and I swear I saw her turn it off and then I also, I have to whisper, I saw her lock the door. Like she lock, she was the one who locked the door and I get it, like safety, but there's already a key pad downstairs and yeah. we're on a floor that's like all girls, but she locked the room door and I'm like, there were still girls who were out partying at that time. Yeah. So it resulted in them being so confused when they came back and so noisy yeah. trying to unlock the door. Yeah. So I heard I, I, I heard her. I heard the one. And then I heard her run to the bathroom to puke. Yeah. Oh. I didn't hear that part. I heard that. It was lovely. So that's literally that girl's fault for not only locking the yeah. door, but also turning off the AC. Why? Let's talk about some hostile etiquette. Um don't turn off the AC. Someone already turns on the AC. Like, Especially like, it, even it's if like you're sick. 30 degrees here. Yeah, it's so hot here. I'm like, don't do that. Don't sit in anyone's bed. Don't talk loudly on the phone. 
and turn off your alarm after one beep for the love of all that is good and right yes <laughs> turn off your alarm after one beep okay that's all anyways let's go kayak that's our <laughs> Okay, last full day in Albufera. I feel like I haven't been vlogging the last couple days because we've just been relaxing at the beach. For those who are wondering how long we're staying in Albufera, for about four days if you're planning a trip here, I think that's a good amount of time. It gives you enough time to have like a couple of relaxing beach days, see the Benajil Caves, that's how they're pronounced, I learned that after we went. So is her beautiful by the way, so definitely recommend. Michelle's grabbing breakfast, I'm getting sunscreen because I lost my sunscreen at the beach yesterday, so sad. The goal for today is to have a very tiny bathing suit and get rid of all the tan lines that I got at Caravana. Just, this is my costume for Caravana, so I got a lot of tan lines. This is a good time to know if you're not following me on Instagram, you should follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of good lifestyle and fun stuff on there as well. One thing I love about Portugal that I haven't mentioned yet is that when you call an Uber, you have the option to choose a car with Uber Green, is what they call it. So it's a car that has zero emissions. Portugal is like one of the easiest places to have a electric car because there's so many charging stations around the country. So I thought that was really cool. Two thumbs up, Portugal. I love that. Michelle, what did you just get? Um, our hostel receptionist offered us his umbrella, so we just picked it up from the front desk. And what'd you say? I said, obrigada. <laughs> When we first came here, we looked up like how to say thank you, and it said obrigado, but that was but like, the, there's a I'm masculine a and feminine, yeah, so. No. Obrigado. Yeah. Alright, we should go back to our hostel, but we literally just don't want to leave the beach. Oh, it's so nice. That is the end of our Portugal video. Tomorrow we are going to Spain. We're flying into Barcelona, so that'll be a separate video that will be up next week. I will link it here once it's up. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel. I make videos on fashion, travel, and environmentalism. And uh, subscribe so you don't miss our video next week in Spain. But that's all for this video, and I will see you next week. Bye.